Hey guys, welcome back to the rough stream. First of all, I got my tank all repaired and painted, ready to go back in. And I got these nice new braided lines from Hale Performance, which is a local company to us down in Devon. Uh, got them in a fetching graphite grey to match the bodywork. Ben and I started going through the wiring. Started off with the front and rear lights, which all checked out, continuity was fine, so I could wrap them all up. through the rest of the loom just to see what I needed or didn't need that went in and out the fuse box. Now that I've checked all the continuity of the loom, I can put it back in the car. So that's all the loom back in. Just started to uh, put the heater back in as well, as that needs to go in before the dash, etc. I've taken the wipers out and I'm hoping I can slide them through there. Yeah, those are in. To get them back in as it's pretty badly rusted out on the, um, like the middle spindle that comes through. Uh, it looks like a generic Lucas type thing, so just got to match it up with something and get a new one, but that's fine. So yeah, putting bits back on, who'd have thought it? I struggled to get it out, so let's struggle to get it back in again. Uh, can't remember where I got it out there. Uh, I remember it was a case of bendy bendy and not, and not snappy snappy. So I've started putting the dash back together um, just to check some of the wiring. Most of it's going all right. Obviously there's certain things I can't check because there's no lights or engine. <laughs> but um, I've done a few of the small things. So um, interior lights, got them going as in like the gauges, etc. The clock was working, don't think it is anymore. <laughs> um, I just had the nightmare trying to get the heater going because it was all plugged in, it was getting 12 volts, but it just wasn't wasn't working so I tried getting the battery and getting that to go it's a pain in the ass so I have to take it all out just to test it but I just wired it straight to the battery and it worked and but it was getting 12 volts through the actual wiring loom um, but what I did is I just swapped out the fuse even though it was getting it because I tested it with a little bulb and everything um, and I just changed the fuse I changed it from a 15 to a 20 and now it works <laughs> Sounds very much dodgy, but that's all I got, so I did um, lube it up as much as you can. So far, so good. I haven't got indicators. I'm assuming the flasher unit's probably broken. Um, oh, the other thing I got is electric window. I haven't tried this side yet, because I haven't actually got a window in there. Well, I could probably try that later. Try it now, shall we?
Okay, so what we've been doing is wiring in the ECU. So as you see, I just went through all the different wires, which um, quite handily I could use off the old engine wiring loom. So I had like a power, a ground, and a crank, and everything. So I just made, just grabbed a spare plug, and I've wired that into the new ECU harness. So that's all ready to go. Um, now I just am doing the wideband sensor which I may have forgotten about <laughs> um, so I've got all that out and I've just made a, I had a, I've got a spare loom so I just these fuse boxes just slide out and off the fuses so I've just added an extra one on put it onto the um, switched live um, and I can just wire that in as well so I got the wiring pretty much done now internally at least uh, everything all the different looms pretty much done so the next job will be to put the engine in the hole there but I'm on my own today because Ben's at the Beetle Owners Convention comparing how much rust they got or something. Uh, but when he's next up we'll uh, chuck that one in thanks for watching and as always if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe for more and give us a like also find us on our socials we are at the rust room Snappy, 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 snappy